Hello everyone, welcome to Nature's Heritage Network. Uh, some time ago, someone um, commented and requested that we should teach how to make our trellis system of staking from the start. So we decided to oblige our one of our subscribers. So thank you for subscribing and we want others to keep subscribing to our channel. So today we are going to look at how um, the trellis system is made right from start. Uh, these are rows or ridges of CDMs already planted. We have up to about 15 rows. Now, the, the way to go about it is this. Between two rows, between two rows, we put our sticks and create our trellis system. We've done videos on advantages of trellis system before now, so do wait to watch that video. We'll put the link right up in this video now what you do is this get supports your sticks that you are going to use usually the first and the last supports they are the most important they are actually called the abutments for those who are into engineering they understand better these are the abutments and they should be stronger than even the middle ones whereas the middle ones are referred to as uh, the pires so the first one you just you just have to double and the last abutment you also have to double so we've already done that how did we uh, make these sticks we've already told us before now how to make sticks easily especially during the rainy season this is a stick hole maker it's, it's, a, it's a stick of about five inches diameter with a cap end more like a torpedo to introduce to uh, create the hole it's very very easy all you need to do is something like this you just do this for about a few seconds before you know you are able to create the you are able to create the hole down up to about this uh, length which is about two feet so that when you introduce your stick it will, this is already buried about two feet down so that it will be very very strong and so between two uh, stick is about 10 feet minimum you can and about 15 feet maximum so for this uh, row it's about 30 feet or up to about 40 feet so I have about one two three four five um, okay let's let's say about 50 feet so that it will be about 10 10 feet apart so this is what you do first more like the foundation the next thing is to get a very very strong rope now for me i normally like using uh wires this wire why i prefer it is this i can buy a very large quantity this is popularly known as the binding wire so i can use this for years i'll be using this for the past two three years so i recycle it every season once i finish one season i remove it and keep it you can use this you can also use any strong robot please take note this is the key the basic principle is that you must use something very strong if not with time because of the weight of the vines it may snap and all your trellis system will collapse because the trellis system is more like a, un a, a unit that is composite unit. So everything depends on uh, the other. You can also use ropes like this, but this one is rather large. What I would do if I want to use this is to unwind because we have three major, uh, I'll just loosen it up and use one. The one is even thick enough. So if you have this kind of, um, rope you can also use the buffer now I'm going to use the banding wire so all you do is just get to a height where you can easily walk and tie let it be very strong is more reason why because with this it cannot even loosen so I will, I will, I will take it down and wrap it around this make it count and move over to the next. I'll do the same. Wrap it down. Move over to the next. So, 
traffic from move over to the next. So this is the end, but I'm going to add an extra to this to continue to tie it to the other side. Added to this one, I will now take it to the last apartment and now make sure it is tight. The advantage I also have with using bamboo, I have something to anchor so that the weight will not go so down beyond that. So, this is what I've done. You will just tie, and that is just it. So, my trellis structure is complete. All I need to do now is to just, whenever a vine comes out, I've already planted all this. There are some that are growing. I'll use that to demonstrate how to tie the vine to, to the trellis system. So all you just need to do is to use rope to connect the vines to this trellis system. All the seedlings here will be connected to the rope this way. And all the seedlings here will be connected to the rope such that you now have the form of canopy. So this other between this second and third which will be a passageway so this third and fourth will make will form one trellis system there will be a passageway then this fourth this fifth and sixth will make so is two rows to one set of trellis structure two rows to one so that you can always have a space to go through so that you can go through your farm. So this is this major structure of a trellis system. So let's now go to connecting the vines to the trellis system. So we we'll see. Okay guys, I want to connect this growing vine of yam seedling to the trellis system. We're using rope because you know we said the advantage of the trellis system is that you just use rope you don't you don't need so much things. i have about uh, 300 seedlings planted here but you can see these things i'm using they are not so much because of the trellis system so what i'm going to do the principle is they just get a very get strong rope i'm using this rope i prefer this because quantity is much and it's cheap this is a uh, twine for fishing fishing twine all right this is it all right, what I would just do is to come, come closer. Is to look at the base of the seedling. It's stronger, the, the base of the vine of the seedling is, is, is stronger compared to the tip. This seed is growing tip, it's very fragile, it can easily get um, fractured. So what you just do, come to the base and loosely tie. You don't tie to strangulate, just loosely tie and it's usually below the nodes so that you can actually anchor okay i could use this below this node so that it can anchor your rope so you just tie loosely so i don't know why you like tying it double so you tie loosely you just put your finger in so that it doesn't strangulate so you can see that it's loose no matter how big the vine is it will, it will not strangulate it so i'll just take it like that not with so much force so I will tie to the trellis of course at an angle it's, it's, it's now making more like an angle with it is it doesn't need to be too tight because it will still follow so I'll just cut off so let me uncover very well so the major thing you need to take note of, it is loosely tied here. Okay, that, okay, it is loosely tied. So I've already, um, so all I need to do now is to do this. I 
I'll just we've already uploaded a video of how vine can follow your stick in an anti-clockwise motion. That's what I'm always I put into consideration. So this is it. You've already you probably want to make it a little bit uh Okay, you can do that. It's no other fast rule. As far as there's something to follow, it will definitely follow. So from time to time, if it's not following, you help it. So it will just continue. And so all of them will also connect and they will now form, you know, a big structure. Some will get here, continue. If this stick was very, very long, it will continue. That would. Another secret is that there could be another vine here and another vine here. As they are growing, you can use this as a, a structure to direct the remaining ones. You don't need to put rope here. For me, what I use, I just use one rope to three vines. One rope to three vines. That way, I'm even reducing the amount of ropes have, that I'm using. So this is how you tie your vine to the trellis system. Even if it is yam in bag, the same way, but there's a slight modification. Let me show that in the next few seconds. All right, we want to demonstrate connecting the vines of yams that are in bags to the trellis. It's, it's, it's very simple, but it's just slightly a modification. For example, these are already connected vines that were connected long ago. You just tie the rope. Rather than anchor it on the vine, you just tie the rope to the edge of the bag, and from there, take it to the trellis. And use the vine to follow it and it will get there. So, but this is one vine that is just coming out. Let me now demonstrate it. So, what I'll just do, this is the edge of the bag. I'll just put a hole. Instead of anchoring it this way now for, uh, like the one we did in the, trail, in the um, seedlings, there, there'll be no need for that. Since I already have another anchor, so I'll just leave the vine. I don't need to bother the vine. So, I'll just take this. Right. Already put the hole here. So I've tied. I will just take this, take it to the, this is the rope I've already put in front. I'll just do this. Sorry. Okay, so I'll just tie. This one I can make it as, you know, count as I want to have it. It doesn't really matter because I'm not, I'm not uh, connecting it to. So this is what I'll just do. This vine, eventually, once it grows, it's going to follow, it's going to, I'll just, Take it in an anti. It's not long enough now, but it will. It will definitely locate this uh, a rope and follow it to the trellis. So it will follow it in an anti-clockwise direction. If it's long enough, you take it in an anti-clockwise direction, as we have demonstrated in our earlier videos. So it's as simple as this, guys. This is how to connect find from Yamin Park to the trellis. We want to thank you for always watching our videos. Keep watching. And don't always forget to click the notification bell so that when we upload new videos, you get them. Thanks and God bless.